Welcome to the introduction to business continuity and disaster recovery planning. I am Liz von der Heiden. Many organizations rely on technology to run their business. Data loss can be a very serious problem for, for them. Therefore, the need to protect the system is very important. We hear about companies experiencing outages due to flooding, fires, lightning storms, and car crashes. Security professionals and individuals who are studying for CISSP need to be knowledgeable on this subject. You have to ask two things. First, you have to ask how many times should backups be performed? Secondly, what type of backup should be performed? Your answers will depend on how much is the backup, how fast do you want the information, and how long will the backup be? There are three types of recovery backups, full, incremental, and differential. When you are conducting a full backups, all data is backup, nothing is spared. It takes the most time to perform, however, it takes the least time to restore. And when you are conducting a full backup, it will reset the archive bit. The second one is the incremental. Here, only modified files are backup. It is faster to perform compared to the full backups and the longest to restore. And in the incremental backups, it resets the archive bits. The third one is the differential backup. Here, only backup, partial backup is performed. It takes less time to perform. However, it takes more time to restore and it does not reset the archive bits. Let's apply this concepts in real world scenario. Here, I've developed this graphical representation so you can see the difference between incremental versus differential. Okay, let's begin with the incremental. Say you did a full backup on Friday and then on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you did incrementals. However, your system crashed on Thursday morning. In the incremental backup, you need the four container files. You need Friday's full backup and the incrementals on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That is why incrementals take time to, to restore because you have to bring up the incrementals as well as for the full backup. Okay, for differential backup, same scenario. However, you only need two container files. You only need Friday's backups and then the differential on Wednesday. So although you did Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday's differential, you only need to, to use the Friday's and Wednesday differentials. We know that accidents and systems failures do happen. That is why it's very important to be familiar with different backup methods, and these are full incremental and differential backups. This concludes the introduction to business continuity and disaster recovery planning. For more videos, please visit us at levo.group. Thank you for listening.